there. You remember. You remember what she looks like. Here she goes. She ended up just we'll see, just wait. Right we'll see when you recognize her. How beautiful she is. Can you give her the sound of that? Oh, how's that? Come on, mother. I kept this alone. <laughs> <laughs> you too, buddies. Who gives this woman to this man? Are they going to marry me? Oh, yeah. Well, hopefully it doesn't turn into a rap or something. Please bow your heads. Our gracious Heavenly Father, we ask your blessings today on these proceedings and on these two young people who have come together before you to pledge their lives to each other. Bless them as, as they honor you today in this act of obedience to your word. Holy Spirit, convict them of the weight of the covenant they enter into today. Let them always be in remembrance of the vows they make before you today Remind them, remind them of their weight and of the joy that comes in keeping these vows and in the keeping of your commandments. Help us all to celebrate the joys of this day with them and to help and support them as they begin their life as one. We ask these things in your name, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Good afternoon. I think it's that far. I'm sorry, I'm late. <laughs> I'd like to say something a little Hawaiian, a little bit Texan. Aloha, y'all. <laughs> Welcome today as we celebrate the union of Aubrey Wright and Angela Smith in holy matrimony. She's a little bit country and he's a little bit Hawaiian. It's a special privilege for me as Aubrey's father, and they've honored me by asking me to officiate. Obviously, I've known Aubrey all his life. I know him to be a man, serious and good, mature beyond his years, and I know he loves the Lord. He has thought this decision through very carefully, and as much as any groom can, he understands the commitment he's making. I've known Angela for a shorter time, but she's become very dear to me. In that time, she has impressed me with her intelligence, kindness, and gentleness. For these reasons and many more, I'm personally glad they've chosen each other. Liza and I are very happy to welcome another daughter into our hearts and our family. I believe we're getting a good one. Mm -hmm. uh, Aubrey and Angela are loving disciples of our Lord Jesus, and I've chosen a scripture to begin their wedding with. 1 Corinthians 13, 1 through 8. If I speak in the tongues of men and of angels, but have not love, and I'm only resounding. Okay. If I speak in the tongue of angels and of men, but have not love, I'm only a resounding gong or a clanging symbol. If I have the gift of prophecy, if I have all mystery, if I have all knowledge, if I have the faith that can move mountains, but have not love, I am nothing. If I give all I possess to the poor to render my body to the place and have not love, I gain nothing. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It is not rude. It is not self-seeking. And it keeps no record of wrong. Love is not, is not the light of evil, but rejoices in the truth. It always protects, always trusts, and always hopes. Always hopes for certainty. The covenant of marriage. Love never fails. Love is more than just a feeling. It is a decision and a commitment. A decision to love in all circumstances. A commitment to love even when you're made for a time is unlovable. Marriage is a covenant made between two people and their God. It was established by the God in the, in the beginning. His word said, The Lord God said, It is not good for man to be alone. I will make him a helper suitable for him. Now the Lord God had formed out of the ground all the beasts of the field and all the birds of the air. 
he brought them to the man to see what he would name them. And one of the man named call, called each living creature. That was his name. So the man gave names to all the livestock, the birds, and the air, and the beasts of the field. But for Adam, no suitable helper was found. So the Lord God caused this man to fall into a deep sleep. And while he was sleeping, then the Lord made, uh, he took one of the man's ribs and closed up the place of flesh. Then the Lord God made a woman from the rib he had taken out of the man and brought her to the man. And the man said, This is now bone of my bone and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman, for she was taken out of man. So it's now the ten minutes. You, Aubrey, Kalani Wright, take this woman to be your wedded wife. Will you love her, honor and keep her in sickness as in health, and poverty as in wealth, and forsaking all others, keeping yourself a to her? You, Angela and Nicole Smith, take this man to be your wedded husband. Will you love him, honor and keep him in sickness as in health, and poverty as in wealth, and forsaking all others, keeping only yourself to him? Great. <laughs> okay, may I have the rings, please? The ring is the perfect symbol of perfect love between a man and a woman. A ring is as beautiful as love is eternal. A ring goes on forever, never ends. And your love will go on forever, and never ends. You join millions of people for voice between the generations that said to each other, I love you, and I express that love by giving the ring. Aubrey. To show Angela the love you have, will you take this ring and put it on her finger? Now, Aubrey, repeat after me. I, Aubrey Wright, take you, Angela Smith, to be my friend, my lover, the mother of my children and my wife. I will be yours in time of plenty and time of want. In times of sickness and in times of health. In times of joy and in times of sorrow. In times of failure and in times of triumph. I promise to cherish and respect you, to comfort and encourage you, to stay with you for all eternity. Angela, to show the love you have for him, will you take this ring and put it on your finger? Angela, repeat after me. I, Angela Smith, take you off your right. To be my friend and my lover. The father of my children and my husband. I will be yours in times of plenty and of times of want. In times of sickness and in times of health. In times of joy and in times of sorrow times of failure and in times of triumph. I promise to cherish you and respect you, to care for you and protect you, to comfort and encourage you, and to stay with you for all eternity. Mm. Bow your heads, please. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this covenant of marriage. We ask you again to bless these two and become one. Bless them as they begin their life together. Show them your perfect will for their lives and show them your perfect love and mercy. Keep them safe and secure. Give them many happy years together. We ask these things in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. For as much as did offer you and Angela Smith and offer to yourself each other, believing that God has led you to this place as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ in the presence of your family and friends and our Heavenly Father, I am pleased and honored to pronounce you husband and wife. Now, <laughs> for this reason, a man will leave his father and mother and be united to his wife, and the two will become one flesh. So they are no longer two, but one. Therefore, what God has joined together, let no man put asunder. It is a privilege and to introduce you to Mr. and Mrs. Aubrey 
Aubrey. As an aside, I need a grandson. Thank <laughs> you.